welcome back, friends. It's Amrissia here, um, back on the Cuddle Cat server, and um, <laughs> um, we're back on the Cuddle Cat server, and I have been hard at work building my shop, and the building itself is currently done. So, whoops. Ah! There we go. First. Wow. Rotating through F12 so, or F5 so many times. Alright, so the outside of the building is done. Um, and I've been, and I think in the last episode that was the case too. Um, or this might actually be tacked on the end of that episode, depending on how long that went. And I added um, some little outside garden area here and a little path from the road to our front door. And I've put up the sign, Welcome to Marissia's Block Emporium. I actually, like, I have to say, I'm really kind of proud of this build. It's like the best I've ever done. But, like, ever, all my, all the time I've played Minecraft. Anyway, so we have some grand opening special here. And it's one diamond for one stack. And it's just, um, this is actually going to be where I put things that I don't carry regularly in the shop. Like, I don't plan to keep ice as a regular block, mostly because I've just run out of room upstairs. I'm not sure where I'm going to put anything. Rather than have people buying out all the stacks of um, whatever blocks that I have in, in shop, if they need bulk orders, I have a custom book where they can place their order and still be the same price, but I will um, arrange delivery kind of thing for them. Um, and this is just basic payment chest. I don't have a hop or anything under there. I'm just trusting people not to take stuff at this point because I don't have a basement put in yet. That's something I might do in the future. Or I'd say I kind of plan to do in the future, but I just don't have, haven't done it yet. So this is the first floor. And first floor is first, whoops. <clears throat> first floor is where we have stones and brick. So the first thing we have over here is sandstone. And I've been working really hard to stock the shop because I did not have all this stuff and I'm still working on a little bit. I'm not quite done. The shop is not officially open yet. So as I point out here on the sign, I'm asking them not to buy out the entire stock of an item, but to consider placing a custom order instead. Um, we also have red sandstone, which is pretty hard to get. There's not a lot available on the server, so I, I it's actually quite expensive. And I mean, the reason for that is there's a mesa, not too terribly far, but it's partially, um, what's the word, spoken for for building purposes, and it's not um, a place where we can go to just decimate and get all the red sand and, and stuff. There is a, pl a hill that's allowed to dig for clay, but um, long term, that's going to be hard because the red sand, okay, that particular mesa was generated before red sandstone was in the game, so there's just red sand there. When you do find red sandstone naturally, um, there's another mesa that's way far out that we can go to to get red sandstone, but th there's so little of it, and the red sand itself is just on the surface, like one, maybe two layers thick in a few places, so it's not easy to come by, so I'm, that's priced pretty expensive because I don't really want to have to supply a whole lot of it. Stone, one stack for 64. Stone brick and moss is also one stack for 64. Moss stone brick is a one for 32 because even though vines grow pretty fast, it is hard to get enough to supply for both the stone brick and the mossy cobble. So, um... Actually, I did put a quest up in the questing guild for a double chest full of vines. So, and it looks like somebody's working on that. They've left a chest out front with a few in it, with the note that they're working on it. So yeah, and then crack stone brick. You can of course make by smelting stone brick. So because I need to use coal or and have that extra step of smelting, I priced it at 32. Basically, that's what I've tried to do with the pricing is if it's something I can just mine and get it without any extra steps, like um, 
Well, cobblestone is one diamond for 128 because there's so much cobblestone and it's so prevalent. So it's basically one diamond for two stacks. But basically anything that is... I can just go and mine like the diorite and the cobble and the granite. They're all at least one diamond for 64. So if it doesn't take much work on my part to, for me to go get it, they can have it for one for 64. Um, if it requires an additional step or more, then it's one for half stack. And accept quartz blocks because quartz in the nether is kind of hard to get. It's dangerous to go get, for one thing. A lot of the quartz near the portal, near the hub, has been mined out. So you have to go a little bit farther away to get it. So it's a little bit more um, difficult to get. So I have that at 1 for 16 as well. And coarse dirt is also 1 for 2 stacks. So that's my reasoning behind my prices. We'll see if anybody will buy it. Then on the next floor, second floor, we have gla glass and clay. Now this is where things aren't quite finished yet. I have all the cl I have at least some of all the clays, all the colors of clay, but I'm still working on the glass. So basically all stained clay is 1 for 32 and the hardened clay is 1 for 64. So basically, if you don't want to buy 1 for 32, just buy hardened clay and go get your own dye. <laughs> right? But if you want to save that step of getting the dye and having to actually create it, then you can buy some of my stained clay. Black stained clay, though, I was having problems getting the squid ink, but um, we'll see how that is. I may have found a source. Um, so there's all the stained clay, and then over here is the stained glass. It starts kind of here. So here's regular glass, one for 32. Currently, I have these priced at one for 16, because not only do I have to smelt the glass, I also have to dye it. I'm not sure anyone is going to pay that. So I'm considering changing this one for 32. Okay, so then if we keep on going up to the third floor here, this is the third floor, authorized personnel only. So basically this is just my workshop where I keep like my dyes, my, my extra stock here, um, a smelter so that I can smelt up glass and whatever else I need to smelt for um, for the shop and a bed where I can quickly sleep if I need to a few places where I, like this was building materials this is where I can just throw stuff that I'm carrying on me, a couple extra trunks because I don't actually have enough um, chests set up to do the all the, the glass that I need to that I want to do. So let's make some cyan stained clay. And I want to do at least a stack of each, right? And some blue. And finally I've got six green. Okay. And some green. And I may need some more sand. stack short. Purple. Yeah, but we don't have enough for black. And I don't have any more glass. 26 glass. Here, do I have any here? Oh, there we go. Oh, exactly 64. Nice. So we can have some black. Okay, and now we can put the remainder of the dyes away. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to need these. Okay. Oh, and I need signs. I only have four signs. Okay. So let's go take a look at this. 
Okay, so next to the red, let's put some blue. Okay, so gray glass here is going to be one emerald. Oh, I was stained. Ah, I can't spell. Stained glass. One emerald for 60. Okay, I like that. I'm good with that price. Light gray stained glass. Alrighty. We have officially got stock of everything. I'm going to need to get some more um, sand because I need more stained glass. So that is the basics of the shop. And I think we are actually together enough that I want to declare the shop officially open. Which I want to do on screen with you guys. So, oops. Um, yeah, I think we are pretty much ready. This, after the grand opening, this is going to turn into the bargain chest, and I'm just going to throw whatever I want to get rid of in there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change that to grand opening special, and instead of one diamond, I'm going to make it four emeralds. Grand opening special. Four emeralds per 64. So, because I would usually charge one diamond for these, so it's not much of a special. So. You know, half price. All right, so let's see here. You know what? We need a banner, too, or something. I don't know. Let's just put a nice little sign right he here. Now open. Mercia's block. Emporium. And then do a little arrow that way. Oops. Grand opening. here and we will put a sign up on the notice board here. Where'd it go? Over there. Okay. I'll put it right here. Grand opening. Oops. Grand opening. Mercia's lock emporium is is now red uh, is now ready for business.
Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna do it right straight across here. So, here we go. Grand opening. Marissia's lock emporium is now open and open and ready for business. Stop by for all your lock needs. Convenient, conveniently located, uh, located next to town hall. There. And since I happen to know somebody not me, but somebody took all the signs. I'm going to leave those nine there. There we go. All right, so our shop is open and ready for business. And yeah, so next, um, our next episode, maybe, or coming up soon, there's so much to do. Yes, there's so much to do. Um, maybe we will get started on our home. Um, also, I've been doing a little bit of collecting or farming for nether or wither skulls because I want to fight the wither because wither, I would really like a beacon at our house here. Enjoy your new horsey. Its name is Black Spice. got you in here. Oh, look at you. Are you a... Oh! <laughs> look at you, you beautiful thing. I love black horses. What am I going to do with you? Where am I going to take you? I need to keep you. Okay, let's see. First of all, I have name tags. Let's name him Black Spice. Black Spice. That is what it said, right? Right, right, right. Enjoy your new horsey. Its name is Black Spice. Yep, Black Spice. Okay. Black Spice, you shall become. Oh. Yay, Black Spice! What a pretty horsey. Woo! Woo! Okay. I need to see... Like, oh, wow. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to be right back. Okay. So, um, like I was saying before I was surprised by that lovely horse, um, I've been working on farming some wither skulls. And I actually have a clip of um, Disc and I farming skulls in the nether 
So I'm going to add that to the end here and you guys can watch that. Hey, Wither fights! And in the not too distant future, I hope to fight the Wither and get a beacon set up here in our base and start actually building the base. So you guys have a great day and I'll see you later.